everybody, Wooter here with BPZ Gaming. I'm one of the content creators and broadcasters, um, normally on twitch.tv. I'm going to be giving you guys a quick video today on how to use OBS uh, version 0.15.2 for Windows and uh, how to get yourself all set up for streaming on twitch.tv. Um, just some quick things. Um, unless you're a partner, there is no point in you streaming anything higher than 720p at 30 FPS. Um, you can go higher, but you're not going to have the people on mobile networks being able to watch your stream and people with um, average to lower internet connections will not be able to see without buffering. So it's recommended vastly across the forums and everything like that, that just because you can stream higher, like I could easily stream 1080p at 60 FPS, no problem. However, unless I'm a partner, you, uh, the viewer does not has, have the option to downgrade the stream quality. So you're only hurting yourself. And I mean, when you're starting out on Twitch, biggest thing is to get yourself the viewers. So cutting out the um, average to poor internet connection and the mobile users is a quite a big chunk. So you definitely don't want to be doing that. So first off, getting started, you're going to want to head to obsproject.com. Um, and go ahead and get yourself OBS Studio. Um, they do have OBS Classic. That is what they used to use. Um, they are getting away from Classic. They're going to be switching to just Studio. So with OBS Classic, you're not going to have the support anymore. So you definitely want to go ahead, get used to OBS Studio and the layout and everything like that because it's going to have the continued support. It's going to have more plugins. There's a lot more options and everything you can do with it. So when you get into the more advanced settings, you can do a heck of a lot more with that. So you might as well go with that. So you can go ahead and get yourself yours for Windows or you can go to Downloads, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Classic Studio. So again, get get that, get yourself Studio. Classic, there's no point in, in doing it anymore. Um, so this is how mine looks right now. Um, you'll see, I actually have a green screen behind me right now. So I'll be doing up another video in the future and you'll be able to see how I did that if you're interested in that. Um, first off, getting started off, um, you can have your stream, you can have your recording. They have studio mode as well, which gives you a live view pop out and you can change things on here and then transition it over. Um, I don't mess around with that too much, so we'll just keep that closed for now. Um, going into the settings, nothing too crazy here on the front page. You can change the theme to a darker theme. If you really want to, I just keep it on default for now. Um, one key thing on this page is automatically record when streaming. So if you want to automatically record when you stream, makes it a bit easier down the road. You don't have to have two separate things going. You can do it all, all in the one program. Uh, go to your stream. So you can have stream or a custom streaming server. I just have mine on stream. Service, tons of different places you can stream to. Um, you can. There's also more services as well available. Um, the server you use, is actually uh, pretty important. So I actually, no, I did not mean to do that. Okay, we'll get this going in the background while I describe everything else. So Twitch um, Bandwidth Tester, which I will leave a link, is made by Team Liquid. Um, there'll be a link for this down in the description as well. So for this, um, you get your stream key, which to get that, Go to your Twitch account, click on yourself. Uh, this is assuming you already have an account with Twitch, but go to your account, click on dashboard, and it will take you to here. And this is where you can adjust your title, what game you're playing, everything like that. So go ahead and click on stream key and click show key, and it'll give you a key in there. Copy that out, and you can take that over to the bandwidth tester, input it in there. Click automatic, click it on quick, and depending on what continent you are, choose the one closest to you. Like for myself, I'm in Canada, so United States is the closest one to me. Um, I have done them with all of them, and I did find that the closest landmass to you is probably the is still the best to upload to. So we'll start doing that. Um, you do have a different option as well with the test. You can do just ping only. However, ping does not necessarily mean that it's going to be the best for you to upload to. So um, 
right now you can see bandwidth right now is sending at uh, 6.3K at 91 milliseconds and the quality is 80. Um, so for quality, it recommends anything above 80 is viewable. Anything below 80 is not very viewable. So find that that's how you'll decide which server is the best for you. Regardless of ping, regardless of bandwidth, quality is what you're going to want to do, whichever gives you the highest quality. So back jumping back to OBS while that's running. Um, like I said, you key in there. Whichever server ends up being the best for you, you put in there. Your output, video bitrate, um, like I was saying earlier, uh, if you go anything higher than 720, you're only hurting yourself. So the recommended um, video bitrate from Twitch is anywhere from 2000 to 2500. So I have mine set to 2500. So we'll just keep it at that for um, because I'm not partnered yet. Um, encoder, there's software and there's hardware. And there's actually Intel Sync as well, which you can enable. Um, from everything I've read, they're nice. It's going to be decent in the future, but as of now, software with the X264 is still the best. So just keep it on that. Audio bitrate, you can go all the way from 32, which is going to sound like you're streaming through a potato, all the way up to 320. Um, as you can see, I changed it to 320 right down here. Streaming audio bitrate will be set to 160, which is the upper limit for current streaming service. So Twitch themselves will only allow 160. Um, they recommend as well, if you're doing um, 720, anywhere from 96 up to uh, 128. So I just stream at 128. Um, I have the advanced encoder settings enabled and I uh, enforce the stream service bitrate limit. And the encoder preset, this is uh, this will decide how much CPU usage you're using. Default, um, I believe is super fast. And for me, using a uh, Core i7 uh, 2600K overclocked to 4.4 gigahertz, super fast will only use about 10 to 20% of my CPU. So I can actually adjust this to very fast or fast dependent on what game I'm playing. Because again, too, the games are going to take up CPU usage. So if you hit that bottleneck of a CPU, you're going to it's just going to start dropping frames like crazy. So you definitely do not want to exceed at all. So for me, I'll be keeping it on very fast, which should put me at about 50 to 60% CPU usage. Uh, keep in mind, the jumps between the two are huge. So try one. If uh, you have extra CPU, step it up a bit more. It just, it just ensures you have less frames dropping and everything. So everything else here, I have about the same. Recording from that, uh, I have mine on, currently on MP4. Um, audio. Um, this is where you can adjust. You might as well go as high as you want on here. So my microphone it will, it will be my highest. Desktop audio device. It'll be on default. Set it to the one you're actually using. Um, same with for your microphone. And then you can adjust um, a couple other things if you want to have extra um, devices set up in there. And going over to video, I can't adjust anything right now because I'm currently recording with that. But my default resolution on my 23-inch uh, monitor is 1080p. So that'll be your base canvas resolution. And like I said, too, no point going to anything higher than 720. You're only hurting yourself. So 1280 by 720 is what you want your downscale uh, resolution for. Um, your downscale filter, there's three options here currently. Um, four months ago from making this video, there was a post on Reddit from Twitch saying that um, the highest one, which I believe is 32 um, multi-sampling is actually bugged and it, it causes more issues than it does good. Um, they suspected as well the second one, which I believe is either 16 or 24 as well to be bugged. So everyone recommends stick with bilinear. Um, it'll be the best looking one until everything else is fixed. Common FPS values is what I use. So I stream at 30 FPS. You can go higher. You can set custom ones. Again, like I said, there's no point going higher than 720 by 30 unless you're a partner. And then you can start streaming the higher qualities. Um, Hotkeys, you can set whatever you want. I have uh, one set up for my webcam and my mic. So I can mute them using the same key and enable them again. Advanced settings. Process priority, I just have OBS on normal. 
Um, renderer, you can change Direct3D or OpenGL. Direct3D is the best for um, pretty much everything you're going to be running, so don't really have to worry about messing around with that. Color format, there's four options here. NV12 is supposed to be um, the best one from what I've been reading. Um, now, the YUV color space and the color range, I heard different things here, but basically what it is is how I have it currently set up with the 709 color space and the full color range, that's your HD. Um, your 601 or, and your partial color range, that's your SD. So I haven't really found too, too, you know, you have to do this way or you have to do this way. So I just cranked it up, might as well, as long as there's no issues with it. So then you got to go ahead and here, add images all the way down to different scenes. You can have transitions between the two and you can do a fair amount of stuff in there. So jumping back to the Twitch bandwidth test and that's completed. You can see for me, my highest actually right now is Seattle, Washington at 84. Currently I'm on Chicago. Um, normally it's Chicago is the best one for me. Um, so I'm going to be keeping it there for, for now, but definitely this depends as well with server loads, times a day, um, and everything like that. So one thing too is you're going to want to do um, go to like speedtest.net, do a speed test, find out what your upload is. Um, it recommends not streaming any bitrate higher than 70 to 80 percent of what your actual upload rate is. Um, keep in mind that, like I said, 2500 bitrate. Don't go any higher than that unless you are partnered because you're only hurting yourself. You're not going to get the mobile users or the people with average to low internet connections because they don't have the option to downscale your stream. So keep it on that. Um, I have 16 megabyte upload. There's no point in me going up to 12 or 13 megabytes per second up or bit rate because then nobody is going to be able to actually view it or very few will. So keep it at that. Um, can't think of too much else. Hopefully this will help you guys out, get you set up, and get you ready to start streaming. So feel free to uh, give us a follow or subscribe on YouTube. As well, we stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash bpz underscore gaming. I'll have a link for that as well. Um, feel free to give us a follow. Uh, you'll see whenever we're streaming. And uh, give us a join. Anything I missed out in the comments, feel free to post. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good night.